Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna complete the, the configuration of the uh, reporting uh, services extension and, and analytical service extension that we have downloaded separately in a couple of uh, videos back. I'm gonna put that link uh, in the in the description. So if you haven't watched that video, this video is the the uh, the sequence of of the the previous video. We're gonna finish the configuration. Uh, so what I'm what I'm gonna do uh, because I've already downloaded it in the previous video. So you can see these two extension we're gonna uh, now install into into our uh, Visual Studio uh, project. So we can create these projects. Uh, so it will allow uh, us to to install these template and allow uh, the VS to allow us uh, to, to create the project based on those templates. So pretty straightforward. Let's hit reporting services. And let me just close my Visual Studio because I don't want it to complain that Visual Studio is already running. Of course, it's better uh, because uh, this this extension uh, tool is going to add the extension into Visual Studio. So it's better to close the Visual Studio while you are installing it, right? So it's just initializing. Give it a couple of seconds. Hopefully, it won't take much time. All right, you can see it's already detected. The the uh, Visual Studio version has been installed on my system, so I don't need to uh, change anything. Uh, but if you have multiple version installed on your machine, you're gonna select the version of the Visual Studio in which you wanna install your extension, right? So uh, for me, it's only one version, so it's all good. I'm going to install in Visual Studio Community 2022. Let me just hit install. And now it will install the uh, the extension. Will take uh, hopefully a couple of second, or maybe around a minute or so. I believe the the resources are enough to install it. But I'm gonna pause the video and come back once it's finished the installation. All right, so we can see the the Visual Studio uh, uh, the reporting services template has been installed in Visual Studio. So let me just click close, and if I just come back quickly show you, uh, let me spin up the Visual Studio 2022. And now we are able to see the reporting services template. We are not going to uh, create any report uh, in this video because we have to configure the, the SQL Server reporting services, which we haven't done yet. So that, that's the prereq to create reports using the SQL Server reporting services, right? So let's see, uh, hopefully it will bring it across uh, the it's opening the last project because I did open it. And what I'm gonna do, just show you, because I already have a solution. So solution is the it solution contains uh, multiple projects uh, under one logical workspace. It's more like a namespace or it's like a grouping if you are uh, working on multiple projects and you want to actually keep them under one uh, uh, one uh, 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 hierarchy. So solution is the, the 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 concept that we normally do. And generally we work with multiple projects once we are building a solution, right? Uh, because generally this solution have multiple uh, components which have been divided into different projects. All right, so let me quickly go and right click, click add. So you can see in, in this uh, add project dialog box, we are now able to see the report server project. Uh, I'm not, uh, let me just create it. I think it's not gonna be an issue. If I create a project, I can't only deploy it. So that that's fine. I'm going to do, I'm just going to call it AG. Operational. All right, so uh, it's going to contain the operational reports, which I'm gonna use build later uh, down the track. So that's fine. Let me just create that, and you can see we have the shared data structure, and we have shared data sets and reports. Uh, what it all these options are, we will discuss in a separate video. So I think, but the, uh, at this stage, we are good. Like we install the the reporting ser uh, 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 
uh, reporting uh, service uh, project template into our real studio uh, community edition which we are using to build the the different aspect of of the the uh, the data and analytics capabilities so if you have any question please free, uh, feel free to put in the comments more than happy to answer otherwise hopefully you like this video and stay tuned for for the last plugin installation